VHS. Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Adam. And I'm your yoga instructor, Shai Mizrahi. Let's jump straight into the news. Recently, a 12-week program with the goal of educating children about technology was held at the South Hill Elementary School. Third, fourth, and fifth grade students were taught how to assemble computers and were allowed to keep their creations. Last week, we were invited to record and observe the program's last session at the school to hear about what both students and adults thought of the event. I'm at South Hill Elementary. Right behind me is Builded at Richmond. From third, fourth, and fifth, all building their own computers. They're gonna build their computers and then take it home. Can you describe this this uh, thing to our viewers? The class, yeah. So this is a brand new class that we've offered. Um, it's a computer, make your own computer enrichment class. It ended up being a 12-week session, so the kids started in February, finishing up today. This is their last. This one? is their last class, oh. and they are learning how to disassemble and reassemble a computer. That's really fun. What do you feel the students are learning from this experience? What do I feel they're learning from this experience? Are they taking away? A set of skills, um, and more importantly, they're uh, learning how to uh, be curious and empowered yeah. and look for um, answers rather than uh, a consumeristic approach yeah. where, oh, it's broken, I need a new one. So the ultimate goal uh, of this is to really get them comfortable with building their own machines more so to uh, facilitate A, hands-on learning, and B, give them this skill for the future so that they can do a lot of smaller upgrades to machines themselves and avoid being taken advantage of. What are a few things that you've learned from this experience? Um, well, that there's a bunch of different parts that I didn't know before. Yeah. Like the CPU, the hard drive, the RAM, and stuff like that. And now you, you know that you can yeah. build your own computer. Yeah. Did this make you want to take more classes in technology, and why? Well, I do want to take more, but... Yeah, I can pop this thing too. Yeah, and it's kind of actually really fun. This week, College Town Bagels announced a new initiative to reduce hunger in Tompkins County area, which isn't working because I'm very hungry. The program is called The Hungry Hero, and it is a competition to see who can make the best original sandwich. So, SpongeBob, you've probably got this down. The tasting of the top three was held yesterday on the Commons. The sandwich that wins will become a permanent part of the CTB menu with all profits going toward local charities. Recently, the 2017 Equity Report Card was announced for the Ithaca City School District. The Equity Report Card is used to measure the achievement gap for minority or other at-risk students. Over the past decade, ICSD has raised our graduation rate 20% and have helped almost 30% of at-risk students graduate. This year's report card has shown the same trend. Congratulations to all those involved. On May 16th, Tompkins County voted on school budgets. The budget for 2017 and 2018 was approved for Ithaca City School District. However, this hasn't left everyone happy. The budget of agreed upon apparently didn't include the $8 million share for the BOCES program. BOCES Superintendent Dr. Jeffrey Madison blamed politics for this and claimed that this was an equity issue. Now, have you ever sat down at a sitting thing and watch something and go, oh, how do they make that? You should join whatever club I'm in right now. What is this club? The TV Production Club? TV Production Club. If you like to film stuff or, or eat toasters, you can film toasters or other such appliances. Like ovens to make brownies. They're pretty good. We and 